The Peacock extension for VS Code lets you configure a distinct UI color for each of your workspaces. This can be useful if you're working with multiple VS Code windows as it makes it easier to identify which one corresponds to which workspace. Now, here I already have the extension installed, and over here I'm in the VS Code workspace currently, and you can see that it has not changed any of my workspace colors by default here. Now, to actually configure a distinct color so that I could identify this window versus this one over here, which is for the TypeScript workspace, I'm just going to open up the command palette with Control Shift P or Command Shift P on Mac and say Peacock, and I want color. And I want Peacock changed to favorite color here. So this will let me go and select one of the built-in colors that Peacock offers. So I'm just going to go through here. You can see that as I'm browsing through, it's changing these colors. So I'll find something that looks good. Let's just do like a nice Azure blue here. So now you can see that once I've configured this, now this window has its own distinct color, and it has not gone and changed the color over in this TypeScript workspace. So that is the big difference between themes. The Peacock extension can actually configure these based on a per workspace level rather than changing all of your VS Code windows. Now, if we go over to this TypeScript workspace, if we wanted this one to have a distinct uh, color as well, we can again just open the command palette with Control Shift P or Command Shift P and say Pe uh, Peacock change to favorite color. And let's go and make this one red, for example. So now we have two distinct colors, and we can very easily at a glance just identify which workspace we're working in here based on these colors. Now, once we're done with all of these colors, we can always just go in here. I'll open the command palette again, and then say Peacock Reset. And I'll go Peacock uh, Reset Workspace Colors here and run this command. And then I'll go back to having the default colors instead of the distinct one that we configured. Now, that's just a quick look at the very basic functionality of the Peacock extension. There's a lot more configuration options and, and settings and commands and other things that you can use. But I find that even in its basic mode, just using the favorite built-in colors, it can be helpful to identify which workspace you're working in, especially if you're often keeping multiple VS Code windows open at the same time. So that's a quick look at the Peacock extension for VS Code.